Guys, please welcome to the stage your next comedian, the amazing Silvano! Hi everyone at home, it's nice of you to be here. My name is Silvano and I'm from the Netherlands. Um, not many people get to guess that I'm from the Netherlands, but I do get some very strange guesses every now and then. The other day, a woman said to me, I think you're from the North Pole. <laughs> She's pretty strange, why? She said, because you look like the squirrel from Ice Age. <laughs> I don't know if that's racist, I just decided not to reply. My skin color gets really light in winter. Uh, this is my normal color, and in summer I get to use the N-word. So, that's a little bit about me. I don't use it, I can though. Uh, Dutch people don't really sound very funny by definition. So if I would walk up and say, Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Silvano. You're like, that's gonna be a funny guy. Or I could walk up and say, Ciao, buonasera, Silvano. He probably has some stories to tell. Or I could walk up and say, Bon soiré, je suis Silvano. And you'd be like, that guy's a brick. <laughs> right? No, no. I have one really good uh, French friend. She's very interesting because she's a French with benefits. Uh, it was very cheap. Uh, not her, not her. The joke was very cheap. Um, I'm learning Spanish, and my Spanish is good enough to ask for a massage, but not good enough to ask for a happy ending. <laughs> I always ask, but what I ask, like, will I be happy in the end? She's like, yeah, you'll be super happy in the end. So I'm basically the only guy who walks out of a massage parlor frustrated. <laughs> it's very annoying. Um, my Spanish-speaking friends always make fun of me when I, when I try to speak Spanish. Um, so I get to make fun of them speaking English every once in a while, right? So my friend, uh, my friend Mark, he's a food blogger. And uh, he makes beautiful pictures of food, and then he captions it saying, hashtag, porn food. I said, Mark, there's a difference between porn food and food porn, right? Your picture is food porn. <laughs> Listen to my English. In between sex scenes, eating a banana, that is porn food, Mark. <laughs> he didn't like it, and also, or he didn't get it. Uh, Mark gets on my nerves sometimes, and one time I lost my shit, and I'm not really proud of it. Mark said to me, and he just annoyed me one time, and I said, like, Hey, Silvano, can I ask you a question? I said, of course you can ask me a question, Mark. What's your question? Question mark. <laughs> That's my level of aggression right there. I, um, I need a lot of attention. The other day I went to, uh, to Starbucks, the barista. I was wearing this checkered shirt and he said, here's your coffee, Mr. Lumberjack. And I said, well, if you want me to chop some wood, I'm your guy. <laughs> Turns out that this guy is gay and he was looking for my number. <laughs> I'm straight. We've been texting for a week. <laughs> I like attention. Uh, so I don't know what to do. I should either tell him the truth or start sucking his dick. And to be honest, I'm not really good at telling the truth. So maybe I'm actually good at sucking dick. <laughs> you don't know, you don't know. Uh, I work from home. Give me a cheer if you work or ever have worked from home. Woo! Nice. You know, my favorite thing about working from home is that you can have sex during working hours. But in my, in my case, more, mainly masturbation. So it's really nice, right? So you're in this meeting, you probably all know, like you don't have to participate, it's just a video, you have to watch everyone, camera off, and then you get to start watching some porn or make love to your partner. Um, which is nice, and everyone done it, nothing wrong about it. My problem is that no, nowadays, I can't get hard without looking at a PowerPoint presentation. Oh. <laughs> Netflix and chill. What do you want to watch? Q3 sales kickoff, please. It has 15 slides. <laughs> People often ask me the question, where are you really from? So I have to tell them the truth, right? El Raval. That's where I'm from. Uh, but I don't want to be the typical guy from Raval. Uh, first off, I don't steal phones. I mean, I may look like a guy who would rob you from your phone. I want to be the opposite. I want to be the person that says to white women, put your phone away, you're gonna get robbed. Turns out, I'm a natural. The moment I woke up to white women, first thing you do is put their phone away. That makes me want to steal their phone. I think everyone had good intentions. Uh, give me a cheer if you like the beach. Nice. I'm always late to the beach, which means that my friends always call me and say, bring beers. Okay, how many are we? Bring 10 beers. So I get 10 beers in a white plastic bag and I walk up on the beach. With 10 beers. <laughs> so I hear from afar, hey bro, can I buy two? And I'm like, what the fuck is this racist? But this time I did know how to reply. I said, three euros, please. <laughs> Thank you for listening, you've been great.
Solano, everybody. Nice.